Hi and welcome to Autoplan. In this video, we compare the Hyundai Creta and the Kia Seltos. It's going to be a tough comparison as both the cars share the same engine and platform. So let's get started. Let's start with the exterior of the Seltos. First you notice Kia's signature tiger nose grille. Then the slim headlights, DRLs in a black housing and a lot of chrome elements. While the Krita has a huge cascade grille, uniquely shaped LED headlamps with slim DRLs and the front of the car looks really great. The side profile of the Krita and Seltos is somewhat similar except the alloy wheel design and the C-pillar area. At the rear of the Seltos, you get a long chrome bar that connects the tail lamps, while the Krita has a mix of cuts and creases in the rear. It has a unique tail lamp design like in the front. Both the cars have an identical boot space of 433 liters. I personally liked the design of the Krita. But both the cars have their own design elements and whichever look you prefer is up to you. The dashboard of the Krita is clean and has a great design. Also, the touchscreen is easy to access. The steering wheel design also feels premium. Even though quality of the materials used is good, in some places you see a bit of shiny hard plastics. While the dashboard of the Seltos has a more premium feel with a lot of soft plastics even in the top of the dashboard. The touchscreen of the Seltos is placed above the dashboard and the instrument cluster is clean and clear. The touchscreen of the Krita and the Seltos is the same. The wireless charging pad of the Krita has been placed in a more accessible position than the Seltos. The Krita has a clear advantage in the rear seat comfort as the Krita has better seat cushioning, better under thigh support and a good recline angle. The Krita also has a panoramic sunroof which makes the car more airy. While the rear seat of the Seltos is comfortable and spacious, under thigh support of the Seltos is less and has a more upright position. So in this comparison, Krita is the better pick. The feature list of both the cars is on the screen. The Krita has the voice activated panoramic sunroof, electronic parking brake and the paddle shifters which the Seltos doesn't have. While the Seltos has a 360 degree camera, front parking sensors, blind spot indicator, heads up display, rain sensing wipers and the telescopic steering adjust which you won't find in the Krita. Both the cars have the 1.4 litre turbo direct injection petrol engine with the 7 speed DCT automatic gearbox. The outputs of 140 horsepower and 242 Nm of torque is exactly the same. The ARAI rated mileage of the cars have a slight difference. While the Krita gives mileage of 16.8 kmpl, the Seltos gives mileage of 16.5 kmpl. Here the Krita has a slight advantage. The engine of the Seltos is refined and feels strong. The performance of the Seltos is really good. The clutch progression of the Krita feels more smoother than the Seltos and the gearbox also felt better than the Seltos especially at lower speeds. The handling of the Seltos is better as it gives more confidence than the Krita. The Seltos has less body roll and the steering is weightier. The steering of the Krita feels lighter than the Seltos and the light steering wheel helps in the city. The Krita also has a lot more body roll than the Seltos. The ride quality of the Krita is significantly better than the Seltos as the Krita absorbs bumps better. So the Krita is more comfortable than the Seltos. Both the cars have the same platform and engine. The interior of the Seltos feels better as it has a better layout and has soft touch plastics. The Seltos also feels more planted and stable while driving. While the Krita has better ride quality, smoother gearbox and better rear seat comfort. 
The top end turbo petrol DCT variant of the Creta is also rupees 10,000 cheaper than the Celtos. Picking either of the cars would not be wrong. Considering rear seat comfort, key features like the panoramic sunroof, then the paddle shifters and the balanced driving experience, I recommend the Creta if you want a car that has it all. Hyundai also provides a wide service network comparing to Kia's marginally smaller service network. So the Creta wins this comparison by a minute margin. But if you really feel that a feature in the Celtos is a necessity for you, then you can buy the Celtos. It would not be a wrong choice. Thank you for watching Autocrat. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share our channel for more content. Thank you.